Welcome to Happy Fox University. This video will deal with the subject of creating scheduled tickets. That is available in the third column over here in the Happy Fox menu area. You can come down to this particular area and the principle behind scheduled tickets is if you need to have recurring tickets pop up at particular times of the week or the month. I'm going to click on the scheduled tickets area to begin. If you don't have any tickets that are already scheduled, then you can create the Schedule New Tickets button. If there was a list of tickets that I had already scheduled, they would populate right here, and I could edit them if I wanted to. Now, you can name this. So if it's a facilities request and you're going to be cleaning out a particular room or doing some repeatable task, you can name what that particular event is. Describe it for yourself. You can also, if you have a ticket template created, in other words, a template that's ready to email in as a particular ticket, you can associate that with this particular area right here and select an option should you wish to. You can also pre-assign it to particular people inside the system if you want to. If they're already someone in the system that you would like to do that, you can bring them in. But then the most important thing is you are able to create tickets whether you want to do them daily or monthly. So daily, obviously, you can pick out which day of the week that you that that you want to create that on, and, for, and what time of day uh, that you want to do. And you can even choose which days of the week should not be created in case you want to skip something, like shall we say, the weekends. Now, on a monthly option, this gives you a couple of things you can do because. Uh, if you want to schedule something, say, bi-monthly, so on the 1st and the 15th of every month, I can go in there and do that as well. I can create tickets monthly. I can pick the day. So let's say the first day of a month. Choose a particular time I want an event to happen. Then I could build out a second one where I would type in monthly. And then this one I could say specific date. And I would say maybe the 15th. And I could pick the date and time. So now what I've done is built out a scheduled ticket and I say I want this to happen on the 1st and the 15th, like when I run payroll or something, I can create a ticket to remind myself to run payroll for the team on the 1st and 15th of every month. So you simply enable scheduled tickets and then they will continue to run and auto-populate in the system on the given day, on the given time that you've specified, unless you come in here and disable the scheduled ticket functionality. And it doesn't delete it, it would just disable it, but we could enable that, save it, and then whatever recurring tickets you have that you've just built in the system, they're ready for you to go. They'll continuously populate themselves, so you don't have to do that. So if there's a manually repetitive uh, ticketing uh, that you need to do over and over again, such as payroll, such as some kind of facilities maintenance, you can build those tickets to populate in Happy Fox automatically. Thank you very much. Please come back to Happy Fox to review this again and see all the other content that we have there to help you get the most out of Happy Fox Help Desk. Mm -hmm.